With the crazy backlash the mob boat has received this year, it's no wonder changes to the whole process are in the horizon. Specifically, we have new information regarding the future of mob boat, information about the losers of the event, the penguin and the crab, and basically everything you're gonna need to know tying into the situation. Our new situation starts with how exactly Mojang decided to handle the mob vote drama and the petition against the whole event as it's recently surpassed a total of 500,000 votes. Already on its way to a milli, with the growing hype behind the movement against the mob vote, it was evident we'd actually see more of a response this time around, specifically from Mojang team members in terms of the actual process behind the vote and the hosts of the Minecraft Live event as well. Basically, there's two separate sides to the story in terms of what happens to the Minecraft mob boat losers. Essentially, the fate of both the crab and the penguin. What's meant to actually happen here? A large group of players believe that following the actual voting process, the losing candidates are simply scrapped for good destined to never see the light of day again, as their concepts simply weren't good enough to make it into the actual game. On the other side, however, it's important to additionally consider what the literal Mojang team members tell us regarding an alternative answer. For starters, at the process between adding the winner of the mob vote in and actually adding all three is at the very least a lot more complicated than it lets on. A developer at Mojang sums up this very point by stating, devs are tired of having to explain the parts of the job that players don't understand which is all of the parts. And then when you've engaged with someone determined to not be satisfied with any answer, the next 100 people are in line demanding you do it for them too. Obviously, this is in regards to the argument between adding one mob from Mabo and all three. As we know, mod developers for the game will also back up the idea that it makes more sense for the right time to arise in terms of re-adding the Mabo losers. This is essentially the main point that the Minecraft company has made a much more open stance towards, as Minecraft Live covered the topic of the backlash against the voting system. As again, because of how loud the noise has gotten against throwing away the extra designs this year, it's pretty hard for them to ignore everyone telling them to cancel the vote. The good news in regards to how they address the situation is the fact that when they broke the news of the penguin losing the vote, obviously the one option out of the selectable candidates that didn't have as favored of an add-on to go along with it, they didn't say to be upset about the penguin being eliminated, rather they brought up the point again that losers were always open to being re-added. As a way of referencing the ongoing situation of the backlash against the designs seemingly never being re-added. This is basically the first time the company has publicly addressed the change. As I've heard in the past, the company higher-ups putting together the event didn't put as much thought into it. They were probably initially meant to be thrown away until the negative reception to the idea kept growing and growing. To help console this reception during the Minecraft Live event, they bring up the point that bringing back losing candidates of voting events has been something they've technically done in the past. They directly bring up the fact that the frog that corresponded with the swamp biome lost originally during the biome vote, namely to the goat that went with the mountain biome, came back. And in this case, yes, the frog in the swamp ended up being brought back regardless of not originally winning, which ends up being their argument to cease all of the angry players from thinking mob vote losers will all be scrapped forever. I think due to the fact they've made this huge reference in regards to the penguin, means if anything out of all the vote losers in the past, this is most likely the candidate they'd end up bringing back despite it not coming out on top. There was multiple movements supporting the penguin after all, despite its loss. And I think at the end of the day, it came down to the fact that the other options had more valued features, the dog armor and the further block range. You know this change in their tune regarding simply throwing designs away is accompanied by what one of the developers on the team tells us as well that we can expect all the losers to be in a sort of idea pile for when the right time comes along, rather than never being considered as an option again. For the future of the vote retaliation specifically, I think we're expecting to see our more recent models being reused rather than the vote losers from the past. Minecraft's past statements don't really show us anything good regarding the losers, as I don't think they were originally intended to be brought back, at the very least, until this movement against the idea kept on growing. They're starting to realize changes slowly had to be made in regards to how they do things, which gives them the incentive, more than ever, to re-add the penguin alongside a later update just to prove to the fanbase that they aren't just giving us hope to stop the backlash. Rather, they're actually making steps to help the situation. But obviously this whole situation is in regards to the crab as well, as the crab serves as one of these major additions whose claw would have been a revolutionary part of the game, allowing for a larger reach and simply making things easier for the player base. And we know for starters, its involvement 
could solely be brought back, despite the armadillo winning the vote, after news breaking of the armadillo never actually winning the vote in the first place, at least potentially. As if you didn't know, allegations this year are breaking out regarding the entire voting process, namely the idea that the functionality allowed for botting the polls. Players could input more than a singular vote per person, as one was originally intended, and essentially skew the whole thing in order to make the armadillo win. Now, due to the fact that Crab was the runner-up, with the huge popularity of its claw features, if enough evidence was to come out against how the process was handled, it could point to the result of the vote being changed. And I think this case might be our best option, because due to the fact they've literally already announced the winner to the public, if it was to come out that their company was responsible for messing it all up, forcing them to change the winner, I doubt they'd make the decision to simply get rid of the armadillo, causing a whole other scandal with angry fans who are already told by this point that it was the chosen winner. Rather, they would just have to add in both. But even with this not being set in stone for the crab's involvement, they could always add in the crab claw feature in another setting as the claw aspect was the main reason so many players were attached to the mob winning in the first place. With the announcement of their new update that revolutionizes how the game of Minecraft is played, with auto-crafting amongst other features, an additional tool or ability thrown in that features the bonus reach like we see with the crab claw would fit right in with the whole thing. It would be a great solution if the voting skew never ends up being responded to, and it wouldn't require the development team to go through the complicated process of conceptualizing an entire mob with add-ons and making sure the time is right, as they say. Rather, it leaves them with an easier alternative that still keeps players happy in terms of giving them the ability they wanted with the mob originally. So with aspects of the crab and penguin's involvement still being foggy with our release statements and potential alternative solutions, it's up to our developers and company higher-ups to see the whole process through. But that still leaves us questioning the actual process behind the mob vote going forward. As developers tell us even more crucial to the situation going forward and where our expectations should be in terms of all the other mob votes. As most of everything we've heard is simply in regards to this year's events. What about the whole process in general? We're told to be waiting for an alleged right time to be expecting add-ons from the past, and it turns out we're able to figure out more about what this all means we should be expecting. A further insight on what's going on in the heads of the developers, and I cover basically everything you're gonna need to know about the situation in this video right here. So make sure to check it out for the full story. 